this is a story all about how to beg my mother get me a dog. Go fly, they fly, they turn a cup. My own, I can only follow me. Round two. For one, let's address the things that you're probably wondering if you're new or just, just whatever. Why is Nisha wearing a Wendy shirt? Why not? I bought it for $5 off the screen. So, okay, let's address the topic of this video and what it says. Yes, I did beg my mother for a very long time to get me a dog until she finally caved in. And I know what you're thinking, like, with my parents, I can't do that. They'll slap me because of me asking too many times. I'm sorry. Let me just go down into the topic of why I want a dog, I guess I can say, or where this all started at, apparently. Growing up, I was kind of raised in a country area, so I grew up around a lot of animals. Lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! The stray cats were my cats. At one point in my life, I even had a pet raccoon. I wish I could be making that up right now. I am not making that up. My mom's ex-husband, he, um, he worked for this company and they had this pet raccoon and like they were gonna throw it out because it was raised by humans. They were just gonna kill it or just like release it into nature and we're like, it's a, it's a human raised, you know, raccoon. It, it won't survive. They don't know no better. I will survive. So we took it in. Uh, we had a dog named Max. Got to, um, when we first moved here in our house, which was like 10 years ago, and that dog was basically my mom's dog. It was a Chihuahua. That's all I'm gonna say. It was a Chihuahua. It was feisty. That dog was so feisty. It hated me. It, it, it did not like me. It didn't like nobody but my mom. It bit me on the nose twice. Crazy story about that dog. That dog actually got lost when we moved up here and we found it two years later. To make a long story short, my mom chased down these people when she saw them at the store. She chased them down to their house. Yes, my mom did that. And they were basically like, she was like, that's my dog. And they were like, no, this is Rufus. And they were like, no, I don't know what they named the dog. But it wasn't Max. But the, it was Max. But they were like, this this ain't your dog. So my mom was like, he has a birthmark of a so-and-so on his left paw. It's really rare. Lift it up. So they lift up the paw, boom. The birthmark. And they was like, oh my gosh. So they told us about how he went to the pound. How he got, he was in the pound. And he was like adopted by this um, older lady. And the older lady like, this dog is too feisty for me. So she took him back to the pound. And we have to worry about that, sweetheart. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> <laughs> the night dude found him and took him in with his family, changed his name, got a neuter, da 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 da, and everything like that. So my mom was like, you know what? Keep him. I love this. He's with a good family. That's all we want to know. And that's how we found our dog two years later. It's been five years since the last time I had a pet. There was my sweet baby girl, Sasha. I had her from, I got her when I was 11, and she passed away five years ago and I have been so when you lose a dog it's like losing a family member so I've been very kind of just not sure about getting another dog but when I finally decided that I was ready was when I was living alone and I got lonely and I was just like I want a pet I wanted a pet really bad like really really bad. I wanted a pet but at the time I couldn't feed myself so <laughs> how could I feed a pet Mm -hmm. And my apartment was really, really tiny, like really, really tiny. So the fact that I wanted a dog, I'm like, I can't really get a dog. Like, what is gonna do? Run back and forth in my apartment. My apartment is super tiny. So I thought about, what about a cat? You know, they're less work. Um, even though I had a dog park right next to my house, having a dog in this tiny apartment in this big city, I was kind of scared of. So I was like, okay, what about a cat? So I was planning on getting me a cat. I was looking at places online to get cats off Craigslist or whatever. I could not find one. Anywho, I didn't end up getting the cat. It just, just faded away. And I was watching so many cat videos. So many. So, so many cat videos. So many cat videos. Like, a lot of cat videos. Like, my recommendations are cat videos. Not our dog videos. Um, I ended up moving back home to mi casa. And I still wanted a pet. And I was like, now that I'm in America, and now that I can kind of feed myself without going starving, it's funny. Like, when I was living on my own, I'm like, where my money at? But now that I'm, like, back here, I'm still, like, where my money at? But it's more like a, hmm. I have money, but it's better here. But I can, I can financially afford a dog now. You know, that's. 
that's good, you know. I would ask my mama, can I get a dog after I move back in? And she was basically like, and I kept asking her again and she was like, no. So I asked her a few more times and her response was more like, no. And then I kept asking her, then I asked her some more, no. to the point where she just kept saying no. So she basically told me, if you want a dog, you're going to have to get your own place. So I did what anybody would do. And then I came to like my reason that I can't afford a place, <laughs> especially here. I can't afford an apartment. I can't afford a house. Mm. So I kept trying to reason with my mom, like, please, mama, please. I would literally sit down with my mom and like try to explain to her why I need a dog and why is it so important. And it basically just went kind of like. I said, get rid of bitches and I bring them back home. She was, she was not getting in. She was not. So I started sending my mom pictures of dogs. Cute dogs. Dogs she couldn't say no to. How can you say no to this face? How, Sway? How? You cannot say no to that cute face. But somehow she found a way to say no. And I was just like, this woman is evil. Why don't you want a dog? And she's like, there's no more pets in my house, Nisha. No more pets in my house. Can you bring a pet to my house? No. And I'm just like... Why? <laughs> so I was really frustrated. I was tagging her and anything, sending her stuff. It was not working. Nothing worked. And this went on for months. Months. Do you know I would open the door and let my dog out that I did not have? I wanted a pet so bad. I was just like, I would be on the back porch like, it would be such good to have a pet right now. I was that lonely. I'm tired of That's too damn bad! <sighs> so, time passed by, and I just kept begging my mom, please, mom, dog. Mom, please, a dog. Just, just keep dog. It took forever for me to get my mom. I just kept bugging her. And you know how your parents threaten you? Like, you keep asking me, you ain't get nothing. And I'm just like... <sighs> but, finally... In January, and my mom started like my mom stopped being home a lot, and I'm just like, oh, it'd be so nice to have a family here, a buddy here, you know. They're like, get a job. I'm like, I try. Nobody's hiring me, and they was like, do this, do that. I'm like, I'm depressed. <laughs> it was like everything. I'm just like, yeah, my mom trying to get me out the house, meet new friends. I don't want friends. They break my heart. I got rid of them all. And it just went on and on and on. It's just like, get a boyfriend. They break your heart too. I don't want them. I don't know. Any pet. She wouldn't even let me bring a fish here. I'm like, seriously, woman, a fish? What, what, what space can they take up a fish? My mom was saying no to every single pet. And I'm just like, can I just get a pet? Like, I don't know, iguana? What? Come on. She just kept saying no, and I didn't understand. I didn't like that word. Stop saying it. I didn't like that word. Stop saying no. I know. No. No to no. I was sounding like a bitter wife to her husband. Like, you're never home. You're never home, mom. And I said something, and she was like, see? Like, see, that's why I was thinking about getting you a dog, but now it's done. I'm like, whoa. Wait a minute. What you say about... What did you... You, you think about giving me a dog? You said I could get a dog? What? So then my quest of searching for a fur baby began. I searched for the past week on Craigslist and other sites, even almost got scammed when a couple named Marcus and Anna and Reno, Nevada said they were giving away puppies and you would just have to pay the shipping costs. Their email names were Marcus and Anna Loves Jesus. I mean, come on, that was like one of the red flags. And in one of the videos of the puppies they sent, you could hear a Japanese new broadcast in the back. So those those don't add up you gotta do better than that but finally after days and days of searching a lady that i got in contact with about a puppy she said that her friend couldn't get him because her husband kept saying no so she offered the puppy to me and after i saw his picture i knew he was the one for me from the start and then there it goes i had my puppy well, let me tell you about my best friend he's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end
Yeah, he's my best friend.